Welcome back. In this demo, I'd like to show you one of my favorite new features in Lightwave 8. This new feature is so powerful that it's, it's changed the way I work in Lightwave with characters especially. So what I'd like to do is just go ahead and get started. We've got this character here. I went ahead and, uh, and set up bones in it using Skeletons and Modeler just so that we had something to work with because I really want to show you setting up a character rig something that I really didn't get much into until Lightwave 8 because of the new features and, and how easy it is to work with it. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and apply IK to the entire rig. So to do that, I'm going to hop over here to the IK Boost tool, and I'm just going to right-click and apply IK. So IK has been applied to everything, and we really need to uh, start setting some limits, otherwise it's more like a rag doll or a, a wet noodle. She's, she'll go out of control. So what I'll do is I'm gonna zoom in and just uh, work on a leg for right now. That seems like a, a practical place to start. So if this is one IK chain, what I wanna do is I wanna stop that chain at the hip so that it doesn't carry up through the body. So I'll do that by selecting this bone and right-clicking and saying IK stop from the, the pop-up menu. Okay, I'm going to move down to the knee, and the knee works as a hinge, so I'm going to lock the heading, I'm going to lock the bank, and on the pitch I'm going to set a limit, but I want to use my own settings, so I'm going to reset the limit, and holding the control key, I'm going to click and drag back as far as I want the, the knee to go back. Okay, I'm going to undo that, and let's just test that. I'm going to click and drag, and there are my limits. No matter how far I move the mouse, the, um, the knee is only going to bend to the limits that I set it at. Okay? So let's go ahead and go down to the ankle. And at the ankle, I'm just going to lock the heading in the bank. And I'm going to fix the ankle in, in place so that whenever I'm moving the character around, the ankle stays locked in place. Well, let's just test it so you can see. I'm going to just select the whole object, and as I bring her down, the ankle stays locked, the, the knee bends, so we've got our basic IK chain set up right there. Okay, So let's take a look here. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, lock on the foot. I'm going to lock the heading in the bank. Now, I've set up this leg. It's 100% it's set up for me, and I want the same settings over on this leg. Well, it's quite easy to do. What I'll do is I'll select the foot, and I'm going to cop, actually I went into dynamic mode by accident. What I'm gonna do, that's me being a little too fast with the mouse there. I'm going to copy the settings from, uh, from this bone right here. From the ankle, I'm just gonna select this ankle, come back over here, options, and I'm gonna copy the settings from, from this ankle. I'm gonna come to the knee, and I'm gonna copy those settings. And from the hip, I'm going to copy those settings. So now this leg is set up with the settings that are set up on this leg. That simple. Let's come back up to the arms here. I'm just going to rotate around, get a better view here in my perspective window. And on the shoulder, I'm going to IK stop here so that the chain goes from here to the end of the arm. On the elbow, I'm going to lock the heading lock the bank and on the pitch again I'm gonna set the limit I'm gonna reset the limit holding the control key click and drag I want it to bend to about that far okay and let me I always test just to make sure okay there we go there are my limits and uh, then let's go ahead and come here I'm, and just for this demo I'm gonna go ahead and lock all three on the uh, the wrist bone and let's just go ahead and lock all three on the the hand itself just for this uh, demo Okay, so uh, instead of going and copying over to here, you've seen that on the leg. So let's go ahead and just do a quick test. I'm going to uh, get a good angle here. And I'm going to grab the, the end of the arm, and I'm just going to move it around. Okay, and as you can see, it reacts kind of the same way that the, the leg reacted. Except I'm going to come here, and I'm going to turn IK stop off and see that I can make her bend over and touch the ground, uh, and it's, it's using the IK that's running through the arm all the way down the back. So that's just a quick example of setting up a, a character rig. 
It's very easy. Uh, Deuce is very grateful for this new feature because now I don't call him and uh, ask him to set up all my, my character rigs. Uh, same goes for, for Johnny Gordon and everybody else that I've tortured throughout the years. Uh, I'll be setting up my own character rigs and, and so will you. It's so easy to do and uh, it's, it's a very handy tool. There's more to the new character IK tools here. Uh, like bone dynamics, which we'll get into in another video. So stick around and uh, look out for some more videos.